the sound is on. Uh, I'm sorry if you heard that. <coughs> What's up? My name is Lindsay. Uh, today I'm going to do a one card pull and I'm going to do straight through for every sign. So if you uh, don't want to sit and watch this, just click on the timestamp and it'll take you to your sign, okay? Uh, my intent with this is just to help you heal, help you through maybe a hard time. I remember when I was first awakening, uh, sometimes just hearing a confirmation message from someone else was really <clears throat> all I needed to keep going, even if it was kind of a harder time. So that's all my intent is, is to just help you through a time that you may be struggling with. As my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ascended masters, and my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give the messages that are in the highest good of the collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to start with Taurus. Hi, Taurus. How are you doing? I should actually pull the book out because um, I'm going to read from the book with this deck for each sign. Upside down was on the side. Okay, we'll, we'll read it up. Uh, right side up. So you got the solar dragon, which um, this particular deck is the major arcana. So each card represents one of the major arcana from the tarot, is what I should say. So here's the solar dragon card. number 18, or excuse me, 19, the energy is rebirth into the light, and the key meaning, or the key word meaning, is illumination. The solar dragon holds the energies of the sun, the great life giver and illuminator. Without the sun, there would be no life. Spiritually, it brings the enlightenment, the ability to see things from a, a fresh perspective. The solar dragon also reminds us that we too are filled with light and it is this light that gives us the ability to create our own reality. Drawing the solar dragon is indeed a good omen. There is great potential for you to step into a new energy, to walk through a doorway into a new understanding of the mysteries of life. The sun warms and nurtures and so indicates reaping the rewards of work done. It brings satisfaction, <laughs> joy, abundance, and unconditional love. With the sense of renewal, this card inspires us to look at things in a new light. So it's really beautiful, Taurus. You got the sun. Congratulations. Namaste. <clears throat> All right. Next, <clears throat> we have Capricorn. I'm just going to take a drink here. Hi, Cappy. Let's see what we have for you guys today. Solitaire reversed. So this is the Hermit card in the regular traditional tarot. Okay. The energy of this card is the knowledge of inner self. The key word is inner wisdom. The solitaire dragon walks the path of an outsider, seeking his own way to inner knowledge. His lantern of illumination guides him, making him both gentle and wise. His twisted staff symbolizes his understanding of the spiral of creation that helps him on his quest. He understands that the answer to all questions and the solution to all problems can be found within. Because it's reversed, I'm going to read the reversed meaning. Loneliness comes about when we cannot communicate on the same level as those energies that surround us. This can come from deep, a 
excuse me, this can come from deception and self-delusion, from a failure to grow up or an unwillingness to face the truth. Impatience only worsens the problem because the spiral of creation needs to turn at its own pace for there to be a change of perspective. I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorn. I'm sending you love, though. If you're feeling lonely right now, because loneliness when you're not really aware of where you're going can be really, uh, can be a struggle. <clears throat> Good luck with all of your, uh, growing pains because that's that's what they are they're growing pains i believe in you you can get through this okay next we have virgo hi virgo let's just write that down So the traditional card name for this is the lovers. The energy of this card is unconditional love. And the key word need is acceptance. The key to long lasting relationship is unconditional love. This means loving someone no matter what they do or say. In order to achieve this, one has to choose to practice acceptance. Lasting happiness only come, excuse me, Lasting happiness comes only when we are able to accept all circumstances and remain in a place of trust. Let me show you your card. So this gets reversed. We make our own reality. So refusing to accept what life brings is a form of self-rejection. Refusing to accept what life brings is a form of self-rejection. This kind of situation creates a huge internal contradiction, which puts us out of balance. Furthermore, pursuing, pursuing desires for short-term pleasure or comfort, rather than embracing truth and challenges, can only lead to unhappiness. If you do not follow your heart, you may live with regret. Only the truth will set you free. That was a really powerful message, Virgo. We make our own reality, refusing to accept what life brings us as a form of self-rejection. Only the truth will set you free. I hope that helped you, Virgo. See you soon. All right, next we have Aries. Hello, Aries. And the traditional sign for this is the Emperor, which is, I believe, your card, Aries. So it's like you're drawing your energy, but it's reversed. Uh, the energy of this card is strength and determination, the key word meaning authority. <clears throat> card Aries but your energy is reversed something's throwing your energy out of balance let's get into it the power dragon stands as both leader and protector he holds a golden ball as a sign of his authority and a lance as a sign of his power fearlessly he stands and calls us into battle motivating us to achieve greatness beyond our imaginings have faith that everything is happening exactly as it is meant to happen and that you have the will to be able to see things through to a positive conclusion The reversed meaning. Your power has not yet risen to the surface. Once you tap into your strengths, you will need to carefully direct them. Be wary of letting your emotions color your reasoning. 
It is only by letting negative emotions go that you can find the sense of the, the state of stability, excuse me, to be able to hold on to your truth. <clears throat> but also sensibility as well. Um, there's something that happens to our, our uh, logical brain when our lower reptilian brain goes into trauma mode. So if you're in trauma mode and you haven't been able to step into your power yet, be gentle with yourself because um, your your brain, it, it actively shuts off when we're, uh, we go through trauma. And so I, I'm kind of getting that. It is, it's like you're almost getting down on yourself for being unable to step into that aspect of yourself, your power. But it, at the same time, uh, everything that's happening is uh, in alignment for your highest good even if it doesn't feel like it is. Okay, Aries, I'm sending you all the love. All right, next we have Leo. Hey, Leo, how are you doing? Uh, hold on one second. Someone's got a cooking table over there. I'm going to see if I can get it. Let's stop it on you for God's sake. Do the right timing for you guys. Twenty six. Let's check the bow strikes. Obviously, Gaia is the world. It's the card that it is representing. Uh, the energy is the balance of the elements, and the key word meaning of this card is harmony. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I don't know if the light's pretty bad in here, but super beautiful card. When the five elements are in balance, all is well in our world. The Gaia dragon holds all the elements in the state of a dynamic equilibrium. The harmonious interplay between the conscious and unconscious allows the freedom to move and be moved. This, in turn, raises our vibration to a higher plane of existence where there is spiritual enlightenment and inner peace. When we are not balanced, the lessons we learn and the spiritual foundations we lay down are shallow and insecure. We can lack the ability to accept change and get stuck in a rut. This in turn can lead to disappointment and a negative perspective of the world around us. All is not lost, however. Change your perspective by letting go of negative emotions and you will naturally rise to a higher state of consciousness. Huh. I'm being told to read this to you, Leo. This isn't part of your reading. The human body is the best portal, or excuse me, the best portrayal of the universe in miniature. Whatever does not exist in the human body <clears throat> cannot be found in the universe. And whatever exists in the universe can be found in the human body. Mahatma Gandhi. As Gandhi said, there is nothing in the universe that does not exist in our own bodies. <clears throat> this means that you hold each of the energies of the imperial dragon within you. That's really powerful. And it talks about five elements are in balance. And we're taught that there are only four elements. The fifth element being um, the, the chakra star. I think that's what it's called, the chakra star. Uh, it connects your chakra to the uh, planes of existence above us. <clears throat> okay, Leo, I hope that helped you. <coughs> Someone doesn't want you to know that information, so I hope that you listen. Namaste. Next we have Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you today. I heard you got to fix the music. got Gaia upright. 
okay leo got gaia reversed so gaia uh, is a traditional tarot is the world that's what it stands for uh the energy is the balance of the elements and the keyword is harmony that's what your the card looks like it's beautiful look at all that blue coming in as i'm noticing a lot of the blue i didn't notice the blue like i did uh, i just pulled this card for the reading before you and they got it reversed <coughs> something with your throat chakra your throat chakra is opening it's no longer blocked you're able to speak your truth authentically it's really beautiful when the five elements are in balance all is well in our world the gaia dragon holds all our elements in a state of dynamic equilibrium the harmonious interplay between the conscious and unconscious allows for freedom to move and be moved this in turn raises our vibration to a higher plane of existence where there is spiritual enlightenment and inner peace the Gaia dragon represents true balance and harmony on a multi-dimensional level. The ego is surpassed and all contradictions are finally resolved. The understanding of the past becomes clear so that lessons can be learned and the wisdom and knowledge from those experiences fully integrated into our lives. When we are at one with the world, we gain the realization of how we make our own reality, finding inner balance and harmony. That's really beautiful, Sagittarius absolutely beautiful congratulations on that being upright that means that you're really attempting to connect self uh, not just mind body soul but also to the planet and understanding how it all connects to you congratulations all right next we have libra hello libra welcome Let's see what we have for you today card is Aries. Same position as Aries, so you could have Aries in your chart. We'll be connecting with names. This is the power card. <clears throat> power dragon. Reversed. And this card signifies the emperor. The energy of this card is strength and determination. The key word is authority. The power dragon stands as both a leader and protector. He, hold, he holds a golden ball as a sign of his authority and a lance as a sign of his power. Fearlessly, he stands and calls us into battle, motivating us to achieve greatness beyond our imaginings. Have faith that everything is happening exactly it is, as it is meant to happen, and that you have the will to be able to see things through to a positive conclusion. Your power has not yet risen to the surface. Once you tap into your strengths, you will need to carefully direct them. Be wary of letting your emotions color your reasoning. It is only by letting negative emotions go that you find the stability to, to be able to hold on to your truth. So there's a need for you to emotionally regulate during this time. An out of balance Libra can be disastrous, not just the Libra, but everyone around them. So um, hold, hold that vibration if you cannot address it in a way that's going to be through your higher self, continue to hold the vibration where you're at. Don't lower yourself to that vibration. Okay, Libra, you have the power. Even if it doesn't feel like you do, you always do. All right, next we have Gemini. Hey, Gemini. Welcome. Message for Gemini, please. One card. One card. Message for Gemini, please. One card. Message for Gemini. One card, please. Thank you. All right, Gemini. You got the solar dragon. Um, might have been Virgo. Either Virgo or Capricorn. 
got this this card as well. Um, which this card represents the sun. The energy of this card is rebirth into the light. The key word meaning is illumination. The solar dragon holds the energies of the sun, the great life giver and illuminator. Without the sun, there would be no life. Spiritually, it brings enlightenment, the ability to see things from the fresh perspective. The solar dragon also reminds us that we too are filled with light, and it's the light that gives us the ability to create our own reality. Drawing the solar dragon is indeed a good omen. There is great potential for you to step into a new energy, to walk through a doorway into a new understanding of the mysteries of life. The sun warms and nurtures, and so indicates reaping the rewards of work done. It brings satisfaction, joy, abundance, and unconditional love. With its sense of renewal, this card inspires us to look at things in a new light. So you're being asked to look at things from a different perspective. <coughs> Namaste, Gemini. All right, next we have Aquarius. <coughs> Someone is not speaking their truth. Not really sure why, but that never works out in the long run. Ever. Message for Aquarius, please. Message for Aquarius, please. <clears throat> Message for Aquarius, please. One card. Message for Aquarius, please. Libra. You either have a Libra in your chart, you're dealing with a Libra, or Libra is in your energy. Gang, gang. <laughs> it's always good when a Libra's around. <clears throat> as long as they're a high Libra. High, elevated Libra. Alright, so this card, the traditional card, is the Justice card. A Libra calling in Justice. Uh, the energy of this card is moral strength and integrity. The key word meaning is balance. This is a beautiful card if you look at it. The sun and the moon, the divine and the feminine in perfect, absolutely perfect balance. Libras love to see that. The sun is masculine, the divine masculine. The moon is the divine feminine. All right, let's see what we have here. This, drag this dragon is the great balancer of the energies of the universe. She sees the truth be behind all thoughts, words, and actions, and governs the e energies of cause and effect. She stands at the center of our universe, making the necessary adjustments to restore equilibrium. At a macrocosmic level, everything that has happens is fair. If you walk with integrity and honor, nothing unfair will ever occur in your life you will walk a balanced path of happiness and fulfillment. The truth will always come out in the end. Balance will always be restored. In order to effect positive change, you must first take full responsibility for the life you have created. If you act with goodness, kindness, honor, and integrity, you will end up living a fulfilling life in harmony with the natural order. So I feel like <clears throat> this is just a confirmation that if you've been doing good, you can expect good to come back to you. Um, things are being balanced in the world. So uh, those who have, have wronged others, um, not so much saying like karma is gonna smite them down, but things will be brought to the light, the balance will be restored. And that's a confirmation for someone, and someone needed to hear that. So congratulations, it's an exciting time. All right, next we have Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. <coughs> See what we have for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, one card, please. Message for Scorpio, one card, please. Message for Scorpio.
I'm gonna put that back in there. If it's meant to come out, it will. The magician. <clears throat> I didn't think that one was supposed to pop out. All right. <clears throat> I just realized I forgot to write all of the signs that they got. I don't remember. Uh, what the other ones got. I'll have to look at that. Oh, well. Okay, sorry about that, Scorpio. Let's look at what we have here for you. Alright, so this is actually the Magician card in the uh, traditional tarot. So number one, the energy of the card. Excuse me, I have hiccups suddenly. It's a channeling thing. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The energy is drawing down spiritual energy. Okay. Could even be looked at as like calling on your guides, calling on your higher self. The key word is creativity. In your left hand, you hold the sword of truth that connects you to your higher self. At, the, at your feet is the cup of creativity. This symbolizes the situation where the energy you draw from your spiritual practices creates your reality. We each hold within us the power of the elements and the knowledge of how to weave them into our experience. You have all the resources you need to make your reality one of beauty and joy. Seek out the sword of truth and let it connect you to higher self. Open your senses to a deeper appreciation <clears throat> of the world around you. Becoming aware of things that others fail to notice gives you the opportunity to move forward on your path. With a focused mind and determination, you can overcome any obstacles that might manifest. Um, if you want to know what the first card meaning was, go to the Libra reading because that was the same card that Libra got. And the same card that Aries got. And it, um, I'm just hearing that somebody's curious about that first card. So that's what it was. It was the Emperor, but it, it was upright. And Libra and Aries had it reversed. Okay, next we have Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Welcome. You got the lover's card. Well, it just says love, but this is the traditionally the lover's card. Let me open it up for you, Pisces. Getting some love, giving some love, loving it, loving that for you. Uh, the energy of this card is unconditional love. The key word meaning is acceptance. The key to long-lasting relationships is unconditional love. This means loving someone no matter what they do or say. In order to achieve this, one has to choose to practice acceptance. Lasting happiness comes only when we are able to accept all circumstances and remain in a place of trust. This card presents you with a clear choice to either follow old patterns or embrace new ways of thinking. The new path requires you to open your heart and connect with unconditional love. This means choosing to accept yourself and that everything in your past needed to happen, even if you do not know why. Life is a rich tapestry of experience, and often seemingly negative ex events allow us to find deeper levels of acceptance. So you're being called to accept what is happening right now, Pisces. <clears throat> Namaste. All right. Last but certainly not least, we have Cancer. Hello, Cancer. The Papa's a Cancer. Her birthday is the... 6th of July. She was born minutes after her brothers the next day. I'm going to reshuffle that. If they want to come out, they can. One card, please. One card for cancer. Thanks, I know. Get me quiet. <laughs> One card for cancer, please.
feel like we gave you cards and you didn't take it. I'll take that one. Hey, brother. Ooh, Cancer, you got mischief. If that doesn't follow up with my puppy, I don't know what does. I don't know if y'all are into mis mischief. Let's see what mischief is. The devil. The Cancer pulls the devil card. Hold on one second. What am I? Okay. Number 15. The energy is the chaos from which order is born. The chaos from which order is born. Wow. All right. Keyword meaning discernment. Mischief is an energy that can bring chaos when it seeks to undermine stability or create illusion. To avoid being a victim of mischief, one has to break the bonds of ordinary perception and take practical actions to restore order. This card also reminds us to not take ourselves too seriously. Sometimes our inner child needs some time to play. Don't become a slave to others' ideas of what is right and wrong. You should always remain flexible and adaptable to change. Life somewhat, sometimes has an ironic way of unfolding. If we lose our sense of humor, we may become discouraged by life's challenges. It is valuable to nurture the ability to discern between what really matters and what is not to be taken too seriously. So, discernment is uh, the key word for you today, Cancer. Alright, I hope this helped you. I'm sending you guys all the healing love. Namaste.